Prepare to face the greatest monster the oceans have ever seen. It's a blobfish. Kind of looks like an old man. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. The time has come to experience life as one of the ugliest creatures that lives in the ocean. It's the one, it's the only blobfish. The blobfish is quite an interesting creature. It's a real thing, and it really does look like an old man. <laughs> Here's some real life images of the blobfish. It's definitely a unique looking creature. But in preparing for this episode of Feed and Grow Fish, I knew I wanted to play as the blobfish and I actually like looked it up online. There's actually some interesting facts about the blobfish that I didn't know. Like for instance, the blobfish, when it's actually living in its natural habitat, which is like 2,000 to 4,000 feet underwater, it doesn't look like this. The only reason that it looks like this this thing, this old man with a big nose, is because of the change in pressure when fishermen pull it up from the bottom of the ocean. It's crazy. See, this is what a real blobfish looks like. And this is what it becomes when they pull it up, which is actually kind of sad when you think about it. But either way, I thought it would be fun to turn this ridiculous, ugly fish into the deadliest predator the ocean has ever seen. Because I really like the idea of this dude eating a megalodon. So that is precisely what we're gonna do. I don't know how good blobfish is at eating things so far. I gotta say, I'm kind of unimpressed. But we're gonna do our best. And of course, what do you do in Feed and Grow Fish? You feed and you grow. And that is precisely what we are going to do. And of course, to do that, you need to eat stuff. And to eat stuff, you need to find things that can be eaten. And I'm having a harder time doing that than I should. Oh my Gosh, that is a very big angler fish. I would like to leave, thank you. Oh, I see some delicious meat though. We gotta go for it. This is kind of scary though, cause this is like orca town. And I feel like orcas would love to eat a blobfish, which for the record, blobfish, appropriate name. Uh, they're, they're mostly made of cartilage. They have very, very little muscle. They also have no bones. Is that true? They have no bones. No bones. Who needs bones when you live 4,000 feet underwater? I guess because of like the insane pressure down there, it just, it keeps them all nice and put together. What a weird creature. Oh, it's my blobfish family. Just a bunch of old dudes talking about kids and their gadgets these days. <laughs> just imagine a bunch of super old fish complaining on their front lawns about the kids in the neighborhood getting out of hand. It's truly ridiculous. Let's try to eat these glowy sardine fish. Where are you going, man? Come back, come back. Get, oh, I can't eat them whole. Okay, I thought maybe I could eat them whole. Cannot eat them whole. I gotta get out of here. I don't like where the blobfish spawns. This is a scary place to be. I feel like there's too many things that are gonna eat me, although these sardines look delicious. Okay, never mind. I don't wanna eat them anymore. They're too fast. They're too fast for my boneless body. <laughs> oh, we have an anglerfish run. I just watched him eat a giant crab in one fell swoop. That was very scary. Let's hope that he doesn't do the same to me. You know what? Let's eat some starfish. That sounds great. That sounds truly fantastic. That is that is totally fine. I am okay with this. Can I eat these whole? I can't. I have to bite them once and then I can eat them into smaller little bits. Like starfish M&Ms. They melt in your mouth, not in your hand. It's a weird thing to say. There's a lot of starfish around here. I like this. I like this little land that I found. Although I will say I think that this area is where uh, Xyphactinus likes to hang out if you don't remember that's the dude with like the really weird like underbite and very very sharp teeth do not like him he will eat me and that would be very bad what do blobfish actually eat maybe i should look that up its diet consists mainly of mollusks and crabs that's it i think it just eats them whole because it doesn't have teeth oh I found there's the guy that i was talking about he did not disappoint very rude we managed to make it to level two. That's a little embarrassing. Or were, were we level three? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We didn't make much progress. There were so many delicious starfish around there. Can we eat giant crabs? I mean, this is this is a blobfish meal, right? Oh, he's fighting back. I don't like the way he's fighting back. Oh no, he's putting up a good fight. Did we kill it? No, we did not. We did not kill it. It killed us before we killed it. That's bad. I'm just learning. I'm adapting to my life as a blobfish. We'll get there. Is that seal dead? That seal is not dead. Goodness gracious, look at that anglerfish. I think that's the same one that we saw earlier. He is eating well. I do not like it. <laughs> 
I would like to leave. Just kind of minding my own business here, and uh, there's Megalodon, so that's neat. I don't know why he's crashing into a mountain, but you know what? He can keep doing that as long as he's not chasing me. I'm good. Let's eat some zebra fish, or at least try. Can I eat them whole? I can't eat them whole. It's always so convenient when you can eat fish entirely whole. I do have to say, Blobfish, he bites real good. The camera's getting a little wonky. He does uh, attack very, very fast, which is very nice. A lot easier than playing as baby shark. The zebra fish ain't bad. Bad. Giving me about 40 XP for each one. They're not the easiest things to catch, but at least they don't fight back. Giant crabs. Oh, that's a shark. That's a shark. Run, 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 blobfish, run. Oh, we're being chased. Oh, get out of there, man. Get out of there. Oh, I'm still only level three, but I didn't want to get eaten by a shark. Just seems like a terrible way to go. We try eating some regular size crabs. They're not giant, but they're still delicious and part of a real blobfish's diet. There you go. 40 XP. That's it's all right. There's got to be better options out there. Oh, I thought I could eat them whole. I still can't eat them whole. Maybe at level four, I can start eating crabs whole. That, that might be a little bit better, but I still feel like we can do better. I mean, even the starfish are better XP than crabs. What's going on over here? This is Bebos land. Bebos might be decent XP, but if they gang up on me, that could get scary. I mean, look at me. I'm a blob. Ooh, Mahi Mahi. That might be one worth going after. Don't go after me. I go after you. I say the blobfish turning radius is not great. It's like turning a semi truck. And I don't know why. Because he's pretty fast. He just doesn't turn very fast. Get him. Get the Mahi Mahi. Get him. Get him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bite, bite, bite. Attack, attack. Oh, oh, ah. They bite back. They do bite back. That's okay. We bite harder and faster and better and stronger. There you go. Oh, that's some decent. XP right there. Give me some more Mahi Mahi. Not the easiest prey to catch, but definitely worth the XP if we can get them. Stop running. Come back. Oh, you're getting you're toasted. You're done, pal. Oh, one little bite. That's all you got? Two bites? Okay, they do bite kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. They are a little scary. If they can if they can actually bite me, they are a little scary. But look at that XP. Yeah. Can't complain about that. Get over here. Get over here, buddy. Get oh you stinker. You stinky mahi mahi. Come on, man. Stop dodging. They're so maneuverable. It's very embarrassing. Got him. That's the tick. Level seven. Level seven. That's uh that's a large shark. Um that I don't want to fight with. There's an even larger shark. Okay, why am I here? It is time to leave. <laughs> He's behind me. Get away from me. I don't even know what kind of shark that is. Is that a tiger shark? I thought tiger sharks were smaller. It doesn't matter. I don't want to fight with them. Why? Why? I just have to ask why. I'm going to eat you? Why you got to stick your face in the sand like that? It's a very sad life. Turtles are kind of hard because uh, they take a really long time to, to actually eat. They got a lot of health. Don't run away. Don't run away. Just accept your fate. You're about to be blobfished. That's right. That's a thing now. Get blobfished. I have a feeling this is not going to be worth the XP that we're going to get. It takes way too long. Decent. Decent. Worth about the same as a Mahi Mahi, but like twice the amount of work. So no thanks. I should be able to eat crabs whole though. 21 XP. Sad. Just sad. What other kind of food you got from Mr. Blobfish? Come on, Ocean. Don't let me down. Can I eat a starfish whole? I sure can. 60 XP. Honestly, not that bad. Not amazing, but not terrible. I see a lot of Bebos over there. Now I'm pretty sure I can eat these guys whole. I don't know if they're worth it though. 24 XP? It's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth the time. Lobfish got better things to do, even though he looks like a retired old man. Just golfs all day. I'm trying to think what would be some good things to go after at this point. I really don't know. Is that a shrimp? I think I can go after a shrimp. Hey, Mahi Mahi just... Oh my god. Just out of nowhere. You gotta warn me, dude. Is that a great white shark? I think that is a great white shark. I just got eaten by a great white shark. All right, so I made it back to level seven. I want to see if at this level I can start eating the giant crabs. I can't eat them whole, but I can eat them before they eat me. Pretty okay. I don't know. I, I feel like there's still better options out there. It's 179 XP. I mean, it's not terrible. All right, I'm just continuing to feast on giant crabs, which has been all right. I mean, I've gotten back to level eight, 
but we're in Zyphactimus land, which is scary, extremely scary. I feel like he's gonna sneak up on me at any moment, but there's so many giant crabs around here and I can't resist the allure of the delicious XP, not to mention giant crab. It's fantastic meat. Get over here. Almost level 10. Worth noting, making some decent progress. Get over here. Don't run away from me. Just accept your fate. Level 10. Let's go. Be mindful of giant fish with very sharp teeth. Also shrimp that have scorpion stingers. That guy scares me. They paralyze you when they sting you, in case you guys don't know. I think it's a scorpion shrimp, I think is what that thing is called. Maybe, I, I don't remember exactly what it's called. I've played as it before. Uh, I think it was one of the very early feed and grow fish episodes. Incredibly overpowered because it can paralyze stuff that is like way bigger than it. So you paralyze the giant fish that you're trying to eat and then you attack it and then you paralyze again and then you attack. It allows you to eat things and get XP much faster than normal fish. Also makes him very scary, like that guy. I hate this, I hate this. I hate this so much. I need to leave, please don't be behind me. Okay, all right, everything's great. No sharks here right now in this moment. That's a shark, that's a shark. Like I said, in this moment, there was no sharks. Now there is, and he is right behind me. Please leave me alone. I'm just an old man. You're gonna treat an old man like this? Oh, that's a Megalodon, okay, very fun. Very fun times. I'm glad that I went, what do they say? Out of the frying pan into the fire. Very cool. Narwhal. Let's see, let's see, get him. Oh, come on, get the narwhal. Oh my gosh. He's too fast and he turns too sharp. That's the problem. Lobfish, not great turners. Maybe? This is a little scary because uh, whale sharks, you know, vacuums of the ocean. If they can eat me whole, I'm done. But if they can't, then we've got a great opportunity. Let's see. just attack from behind. Keep attacking. Oh, oh, wait, am I getting eaten? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I just got, I just got stunned. I think the narwhal just attacked me with his horn. It's a little scary. Ah, or maybe when whale sharks attack, they stun you. That, that's a new mechanic, or at least a mechanic that I've never seen before. Okay, kind of don't like that, but this is going all right. I'm getting them eventually. It's going to take a little while. Wait, if I turn this dude into me, are the vacuums around me just gonna eat it all? Oh no, don't eat, don't eat it. This is mine, I worked hard on this. This is, this is, oh, this is so good though, this XP. Oh my gosh, we've done it. We found the, the holy grail of feed and grow fish food for blob fish. It's whale sharks. My camera's getting really, really wonky though. I don't know what's happening. This is very, very upsetting. Oh, here we go. Level 17 from one whale shark. It's amazing. Got seven levels. Let's do that again. Ah, stop stunning me though. And I need to eat what's left over. Gosh, give me all the bits. My turning radius is even worse now that I'm becoming bigger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought I was about to get eaten by a whale shark. That was very scary. I almost got Dysoned. But I have to say this XP is fantastic. This is great. Look at that. And they keep respawning. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Eat it up. <laughs> Fear the blobfish. Oh my goodness. Look at that attack damage. That is something to fear. Level 39. I look like I've been through a war. It also takes me like 45 minutes just to turn around. Yo, it's the giant angler fish from before. You think we should try taking him on? Oh, this is very scary. I, ooh, he, he might kill me. He, he might actually kill me. He ain't kill me. Blobfish is too strong. Oh my gosh. We've hit the next tier awesome powerhouse. <laughs> and he looks so dumb, but he is not to be trifled with. Should we go after the giant whale? We got the whale boss right over here. I don't feel like I'm ready for it though. I feel like I'm typically a little bit bigger. Oh, there he is. We just go for it. Let's go for it. If we sneak up behind him and he can't bite us before we bite him, then, then we have a chance. Oh, but he knows. He knows what's about to happen and I can't turn around. I can't turn around fast enough. I'm leaving, I'm out, I'm out. He's he's too strong. Let's go eat some smaller sharks or something. I mean, the whale sharks were really good XP, but I lost them. I don't know where they are now. Zyphactinus, don't run away from me. I got revenge to get. Also the, the shark, the great white shark. I don't know, I don't think that's a great white shark, but that's what ate me last time, right? I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna eat it because I need this. This is for me. This is therapy or something. Get over here. Don't run away from me. Coward. He's running. He fears me. He fears this terrifying blob face. Can't turn. He's so slow at turning. It's very frustrating. Come at me, bro. Get him. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah. Uh, tiger shark just ate him whole. Oh, scary, scary. I didn't realize you were here, but it's time to do this. You and me, buddy. Bring it. <laughs> Uh, okay, Blobfish, pretty strong. Let's do that a few more times. Maybe hit like level 75 or something, and then uh, I think it's time to go after Megalodon. Hey, buddy, are you gonna kill me in one bite? Hopefully not, because I'm gonna eat you. I am a little concerned that his bites can still hurt me really bad. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Uh, two bites and I would be dead. So uh, let's try not to get bit more than one time by large whale guy, which is easier said than done because he keeps sneaking up on me and I can't can't turn around. I gotta get out of here. I gotta leave. I can't turn this giant bus of a fish around. Head on? No problem. It's when he sneaks up behind me that things get scary. There we go. I'm in a much better situation now. I'm also level 65, which is awesome. <laughs> Okay, I am now level 83, just feasting on the never-ending spawn of the giant ice whale. A wonderful thing to do and experience, for sure. Oh, oh, we're right on top of the spawn. Now this is stupid, and I like, I like it a lot. Should I just go to level 100? I think I'm gonna go to level 100. I am struggling. I can't turn around, but his bites are way less intimidating. He'd probably have to bite me like 10 times at this point to actually get me into a dangerous spot, but uh, that's not gonna happen because it takes me one bite to take him out. Okay, this is just getting annoying. I'm level 95, I think that's good. I think it's time to say hello to our dear friend, Megalodon. We just gotta go find him. Always the hardest part of this. I feel like he shows up at the worst times possible, but then when you actually wanna find him, nope. He's like, you ain't gonna find me. I'm doing my own thing. Whoa, that is a very big Xyphactinus. Um, it's also dead, so, but that was bigger than normal. I think I see him. There he is, the legend. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what they say. Always respect your elders. And now you know why. Level 97 blobfish, pretty absurd, but let's get real weird. I mean, I have the cheat engine enabled. Let's see how big of a blobfish we can actually create here. Things get real wonky when you start getting too crazy. Um, the camera doesn't know how to handle it. The ocean doesn't know how to handle it. Really, nothing knows how to handle a blobfish of this magnitude, not even science. And so here we are, causing the world to implode with the power of the ugliest fish in the ocean. Poor blobfish. You know, he is kind of one of those situations, though, where he's so ugly, he's kind of cute. Credit where credit's due. Credit, credit where credit is due. Um, can I no longer level up? 289 is the cap? I, I, I guess, I don't, I'm only getting one XP from the cheat now, but I guess that's the way things are. I mean, you gotta admit, this is a very large. I can't even really look at it because the camera freaks out when I do it. <laughs> Coming out of the water. Yeah, you know, I like blobfish and I hope you guys do too. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.